simple, really. Why, Mr. Grayson, you have a gift for making London seem small. Miss Murray, you're looking lovely tonight, as ever. Permit me to explain. The card is folded down the middle and is torn, but not the whole way. It is folded back in itself, and you mime, tearing the card in half. Good heavens. So it appears to be torn. <laughs> but really, it's still in one place. The rest is purely theater. It's very good, isn't it, Jonathan? Yes, quite. Yes. If business should ever prove fruitless, you might very well enjoy a future on the stage. Oh, if you'll excuse me. Well, I appear to have been abandoned by Alexander. I'm sure he'll be back when he's done showing off. No, oh, I've no doubt. Darling, would you pop in for tea at mine tomorrow? It's just I feel we have so much in common, it would be a sin not to get to know each other better. Yes, of course, I'd love to. See, I... I also know what it's like to be denied one's heart's desire. I have no interest whatsoever in Alexander Grayson. I'm not talking about him. I'd like to apologize for leaving your engagement party so abruptly. I'd hate to think either of you inferred a personal slight or a diminution of my fondness towards you as a couple. For you, Harker, are the king of hearts. And you, Mina? The queen. And even if an evil little jester tries to come between you, He cannot sever your bond. Winston, please see to it that my friends get the very best on my account. <laughs> 